story we first brought you last night at 11. Thieves stealing thousands of dollars of lawn equipment from a Detroit nonprofit. The organization benefits teenagers and seniors, and since our story aired, there's been an outpouring of support for the group. Jermont Terry shows us the amazing gifts they've received that will allow them to keep doing their good work. Walking into a Home Depot is the last place Eric Miller expected he would be. You've got Detroiters that care. With a paid invoice of $5,000 waiting inside are carts of weed whackers, mowers, blowers, and everything to keep the nonprofit, the Lawn Academy, running. This is a lesson for life for these young, for these youth. 24 hours ago, I showed you how cameras caught three men willing away every piece of the organization's equipment. Items stolen from the Lawn Academy the youngsters use to cut the lawns of seniors, veterans, and the disabled for free. And the calls haven't stopped since last night. Mark Davidhoff, partner of Deloitte in Detroit, made this purchase possible. Miller believed in the Lawn Academy and now he knows so many others do too. So many people made it happen. So that's a lesson to the youth to say, you know what, you're not in this battle by yourself. As he loaded up the gear, emotions. Thanks for all you do. <laughs> overcame him. Thanks for taking care of those kids. But before the equipment left the store, the generosity continued. Every penny going to the youth. Oh my. I like what you're doing, brother. Yes, sir. As they load up the trailer, Miller knows this is a new beginning for the Lawn Academy. It was a setback, but you know what? We're at a higher level today. A check for three thousand dollars. I can stand here and take a lot of credit, but it's it's God. It's not me. I'm just delivering what God told me to do. That's all I'm doing. Yes, sir. If you ever need me, just call me. That check and this trailer full of new equipment now allow for the Lawn Academy to expand. They showed the youth that, hey, I believe in you, and you have, a, you have a future. And the Lawn Academy has a future. They're going to be busy tomorrow collecting more donated lawn equipment that people called from yesterday just trying to give the Lawn Academy. This story truly shows that when people need help, Metro Detroit knows how to step up. Reporting live tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4. We do have Detroiters That Care. That's a fantastic organization and so glad that it's a happy ending. Those are some really touching mm -hmm. moments. Really? really I, I mean, I, I was kind of tearing yeah, up myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. great stuff. All right, Jermont.